Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, I'm going to take a motorbike ride on my Rusi 250 Classic. Uh, haven't ridden it for a couple months, and uh, as I suspected, the battery was wasn't completely dead. But uh, it tried, it tried, but it would not start. So I had to push start it. Took me about four shots at it, uh, running with it in the garage in second gear, and then in third gear to get it started. I have decided that I'm going to ride this bike more often. I, I don't really care to ride it during the week in the city, Cebu City. Traffic is just crazy. But uh, I have become a lot more confident riding this little bit bigger uh, bike uh, rather than scooters. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm much more uh, much more confident. And I'm, I'm, I've always been pretty much a defensive driver that can be a very difficult thing to do here in the Philippines. You, it, it's a combination of being a little bit aggressive and a little bit defensive, uh, or a whole lot defensive at the same time. Anyway, come along if you have time. I'm going to take you uh, from uptown Cebu City, where I just came from, through the downtown area, out to the highway, going out to SRP, South Road Properties. I'm going to point out a few things around along the way. Now that tall building right to the left that is called Express Inn. It's a hotel. I've done a video there. Done dozens and dozens and dozens of videos of condominiums, hotels, resorts, cost of living videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. The taller building right center is GV Hotel. And they've got a number of those in the Philippines. And uh, I've done videos in there. They've got They've got uh, smaller units all the way up to family units in there, so check out my videos as well. I've got playlists. One playlist is condos, homes, and apartments, I think. Uh, one is uh, cost of living. One is travel. I've got uh, one about Vietnam. I was over there for a period of time. And several other, uh, got, I do some 360 videos. I've got a playlist called 360 videos. And I, this is not a 360 video. I, I, I did purchase a, a uh, motorbike mount, but I didn't bring it along this day, partly because it looked like it was going to rain. And anyway, we're in the downtown area, kind of five streets come together here, Cologne Street off to the left and to the right. And there's several malls down here, Metro being one of them. Metro is also in Ayala Mall, a department store up in uh, Cebu City, uptown area, I guess, the Cebu Business District area. We've got a number of different malls, uh, several of them on Cologne Street itself. And you'll find down here downtown, each street kind of, uh, the, the street vendors, the guy that sets up, the people that set up their little stands on the sidewalk you'll find a street that specializes in bicycle parts. You'll find a, a street that specializes in shoe repair. You'll find a street that is mostly jewelry. Those sorts of things. Or, or making uh, rubber stamps. Or just a variety of different things on the different streets. Now this was Sunday and that means they have the, the big uh, the big uh, famous church down here, Catholic Church, they've got that blocked off and that's kind of a walking street down there. And so you, if to get down to the main highway, you've got to uh, either take a right or a left. In this case, I took a right. Keep going this way, it would take you down into the Carbone Market area, a big public market down here that they've been remodeling, building some new buildings, uh, Increasing the cleanliness and hygiene in the area, I guess you'd, you'd say. Anyway, modernizing it. I rarely see foreigners in the downtown area or the Carbone Market. And when I first came here in 2015, I, I told people, yeah, I want to go, I want to go downtown Cologne Street and Carbone Market. And many people said, sir, no, you don't want to do that. Very dangerous. And uh, I put it off. I, I delayed it. You know, they scared me just enough. I delayed it for a couple of months before I finally just decided. Well, I'm going down there. I need. I need to see. Sometimes a. Sometimes a. Uh, a warning is is almost like a dare. Uh, it can get 
very crowded down there and you want to make sure um, you watch your valuables. I had a lady many years ago made a comment that she was down there, had a necklace ripped off of her neck, so you be careful what kind of jewelry you wear, where you carry your valuables. I have had a couple of phone snatch, cell phone snatch during synologues when I've been in, in big crowds. And uh, so yeah, they, they can get in and out of your pocket very quickly. If you're holding it, if you're texting it, somebody can grab it and run with it very quickly. And chances are, I've had it happen. I've had it happen. Kids surround me and I'm, I gave a couple kids a couple coins many years ago and all of a sudden I'm surrounded by 10 kids and all of a sudden they're running. I chased them. I, I chased them to the best of my ability, which I thought was pretty, pretty good, but not good enough for about two blocks. They went down kind of a skinny street and and uh, I ended up going back down to that area a couple weeks later and I, I recognized, uh, I thought I recognized one of the kids and I told him, I told him I want my wallet back and my wallet and my phone. And I knew I wasn't gonna get my phone back, pretty sure anyway. Now I'm on the main highway here. The area off to the left is kind of a public bathroom area some people fish out there swim out there but uh, dirty water it's you can see the new uh, bridge out there the the CCLEX this Cordova Cebu Link Expressway we're gonna go by that Carbone Market is just to the right some of the buildings here some of that is some parking area I believe uh, there's a little dispute about who owns some of the property back where I made that turn with the Maritime Commission saying they own it and the court saying they own it. I think this is some car parking, these these uh, structures right here. Not sure how they're going to get the cars up to the second level or not, but they've got a plan. Anyway, that, that kid that had taken my wallet, he said, uh, like he was punching somebody, he said, Con contractor, Con like he's going to go beat a contractor up, this little kid. Anyway, 15, 20 minutes later, he came back with my wallet. Had had my my credit cards and my ID, driver's license, had everything in it, except the money, maybe 3,000 pesos. Of course, I didn't expect to get that back. And this bridge up above us on the right, that is the CCLEX that goes over to Cordova, Cordova Mactan Island. It's a toll bridge. I think it costs, uh, for the average vehicle, costs 60 pesos. I believe and you're supposed to have an RFID radio frequency identification uh, device on your vehicle to be able to use it now no, I don't, I'm not sure if they're still taking cash or not I, I suspect there are many people that don't go that way very often that don't have that device don't plan on getting that device so I would suspect that they must have at least one cash lane but not positive they do have Last time I went across it, several months ago, they did have a motorbike lane. I didn't see it. I didn't see it marked as such, so I got in line with the cars. And eventually a security guy come out and waved me over to where I was supposed to be. You can follow this highway, but it, it, it goes through a lot of towns, and, and it, it's slow going. Once you get down through Tal Talisay, Talise, going south all the way to the south end of Cebu Island, and uh, it, it's, uh, you don't make very good time because it's a lot of towns, a lot of slow traffic, a lot of slower vehicles on the road, uh, two lane, a lot, of, a lot of the area. Now we're coming up on two things. To the right, the large tower there is part of SM Seaside Mall, uh, worth a visit. Very interesting thing. Just to the right here, they're building a, I think a sports arena that'll be going up in the next year or two. Uh, they're al already doing the excavation for it. And yeah, re really kind of a nice nice mall. I don't think anybody's occupied in that tower yet. I think the plan was to put some restaurants in there and I, I don't think they ever had anybody move in into those restaurants. Would be a great view to have dinner from, I, I must say. And off to the left, far left, that is New Star uh, New Star Casino Resort Hotel. They're going to have one or two hotels, resort, um, casino, boardwalk out there. And uh, just as we pass SM Seaside here, uh, 
on one of these next streets, you, you can go down there and there is uh, a Cebu, kind of like a uh, marine, uh, a sea, uh, what do they call it? Somebody can tell us in the comments. Kind of like an aquarium anyway. I don't know, it costs, costs, costs two, three, four, five hundred pesos to get in. It's worth a visit. I, I saw it. I'm sure since I've seen it, the they've got quite a few more exhibits in there, various fishes, and if you had some alligators or crocodiles in there. And anyway, yeah, the new star off to the left, and then uh, as we go out here, Phil Invest, a uh, property development company, owns a lot of the property off to the right. There's a couple of condominiums out here, here San Remo and Anopheli, and that's where the it's where the uh, the Cinelog Parade competition was held. In fact, it marched up and down some of these streets, I guess. People lining the streets, and then uh, that took place. They got a big uh, bleacher section over here with a stage. Just to the left is Il Corso. I've done a video out there, Il Corso, and it is a it's a popular place, especially on weekend. They've got a number of uh, food establishments out there. A little bit of a boardwalk out there, and then yeah, just to the right is the. Uh, cut off and, and you can go to uh, where the condominiums are and where SRP and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down the road I'm gonna take a, a right and uh, I decided at the last minute take you down here kind of where the uh, you can see the condominiums off there to the center right and uh, they actually had a when I went out here they had a um, I think it was the military army or something that had some kind of a, I don't know if it was a training or a competition with motorbikes because they off to the left here as we go down here a lot of cars a lot of vehicles a lot of motorbikes and uh, they're running up and down the, the side road over there they've got that sec secondary road blocked off One thing would be nice if they would have a walkway over that main highway from this side of the highway over to Il Corso. And eventually, perhaps they'll do that because at the present time, uh, you're dodging highway traffic to get across if you're on this side. And back to the right over here, they had some of the, uh, the, the Cinelog parade events, the food stands. And these are, there again, I've done videos, a couple, two, three videos out here at, at these uh, different condominiums. What do they rent for? What do they sell for? What do they look like inside? And I believe when we, in fact, I put up a, uh, a couple videos out here. They're building some other uh, buildings out here. They've got, they've got uh, some building out here with, that says NOAA, N O. A H, and I don't remember what that stands for, but they've got a building out here. There's additional commercial buildings being built out here, and I've been I've been to the Philippines uh, three three trips in about seven years, and uh, I've seen a lot of changes. This this whole South Road Properties area uh, changed a bit, and I I had the time, but I decided I wasn't going to go down that road. It probably curves back around, goes back to the highway, perhaps. I think there's some additional commercial buildings being built out in that area. Anyway, I'm going to stop up here and just take a look at, uh, a little bit of a look at what's going on with uh, this guy. Didn't look before he turned, obviously. Really got to be careful here, anywhere driving. I'm using a GoPro 9 on, uh, attached to my handlebar uh, on this bike. Um, does a pretty good job. Image, image stabilization is so good that you can't tell that it's a rough road oftentimes. You don't get that, uh, that impression. So here's a little bit I, I pulled off between some cars here. And they've got 
primarily the look it looks like they're all in military gear to me um, I don't know if it's if it's army PNP who it is out there maybe somebody can comment in the video and you can see it's a cloudy sky and and we've had uh, for three months we've had uh, very unusual number of cloudy skies and rain either, either during the day or in the evening uh, here in uh, Cebu province I debated about going out uh, because I thought I'm going to get wet and I did not bring rain gear with me I decided well just I'll have to find cover if it gets that bad going back towards Mandawi a little later I did get a few sprinkles but never did really get wet wet so that was okay. Phil Invest, who owns these two properties out here, San Remo and, and Amalfi, also own and manage One Oasis, which is kind of what's off a, not very far, in fact, right next to the Cebu Country Club golf course. And I know a number of you have rented at, uh, at, at some of these condominiums. Walking, walking back down Mango Avenue last night, a uh, guy walking, walking the other direction, I, I thought I heard him say something, and, but I didn't think he was talking to me. But I did. I, I stopped and turned around, and uh, he was kind of looking at me, and I, I said, what, you know, he said, are, are, are you a vlogger? Are you a vlogger? Are you amazing Philippines? <laughs> And uh, that is amazing. That is amazing that people recognize me on the street. So anyway, we had we had a we had a interesting chat. If you're listening today, uh, thanks for saying hello. He was going to spend a week or two here in Cebu, and then he was going to go to Dumaguete. And I, I I had coffee with a subscriber uh, a few days ago. Same thing. He was going to spend a week in Cebu City, and then head for Dumaguete. And uh, I, th I think per capita, per capita, Dumaguete probably has the most percentage-wise of, of foreigners living there. It's uh, been highly rated uh, over the years as being, being a good place to retire. I like I like Iloilo. Eventually, he's, initially I was going to go to Iloilo because uh, if you, some of you guys remember. Mike Philippine and his YouTube channel. He traveled a lot. He said he'd done a lot of research and decided Elo Elo was the place to be. Bunch of fishermen off here. I'll, I'll come back along here, go down here and turn around. Uh, channel, channel or river, river I guess, going out to the sea here. I was going to move to Elo Elo City and then I stayed at a hotel in Tucson, Arizona to visit a, a daughter. And Filipino worked at the hotel, and I was telling her where I was going to go, and she said, no, sir, go to Cebu City. And she was from Little Owen, just north of Cebu City. And so I did a little more research and decided, well, yeah, I, I can start there. And that's what I did, got comfortable. My plan was to travel a lot when I got here, use, use Cebu City as a base. And uh, But you got comfortable. It's big enough. Enough things to do. You get get comfortable. You forget about traveling. Um, I'm going to do another video a little bit about that. I bought I, I, in getting comfortable. I bought a big set of cookware and and other things that uh, gave me a more comfortable life. And then I uh, well, gee, I don't have to travel yet. There's a lot lot to explore right around Cebu City. Initially, when I first read about Cebu City, it said something. Well, it's a it's a tourist destination, and uh, I I I'm not attracted to tourist destinations. Just like I have not been to uh, Boracay yet, I would rather go to more of a Filipino cultural area. One thing I wanted to mention also, uh, and I'll I'll mention earlier in in future some future videos, is that. Uh, uh, You'll know, read the comments, especially the one I did about uh, immigration moving and, and doing an annual report. You read the comments because uh, some of the experiences of the people that make the comments are really informative. You can learn learn uh, more from the comments about what's going on in various. You know, I I kind of report on what's going on 
uh, more in the Cebu City Immigration Office and, and of course the national scene and rules and regulations as well. But uh, each immigration office operates a little bit differently. So by reading the comments, you might get some insights that might might help you out in the long run. I tried to uh, chat with a couple fishermen, but I, I don't know if they couldn't hear me very well, couldn't understand my English very well, but uh, you know they're they're busy fishing, so they. I didn't get any inf information about what they were catching or what kind of luck they were having. Catching some fish. This is a turnaround U-turn section down here. One of the issues is that is that if you come out of uh, if you come out of SM Seaside, unless you go back into town the back way, you almost you almost the safest thing to do is come way out here, do a U-turn, get back on the highway, go back into town. Well, that's a couple of com kilometers out of the way, a you know, mile or more. And uh, th there are more, they are allowing them to cross that, that busy highway. They are allowing traffic again to go across there. They stick, you know, traffic is coming from both directions quite rapidly. And they, they're allowing them to cr try to cross that traffic without any traffic signals, just stick their nose out and try to cross a little dangerous and this road uh, what what you see up ahead is Il Corso that little uh, little mall area and um, I'm not allowed to drive down this road at this point in time maybe they'll allow that at some point in time but anyway on a, on a weekend especially and later in the afternoon evening you'll get people jogging and walking that that highway it's not really a boardwalk yet it is a little bit back by Il Corso anyway this is uh, this video is long enough I'm going to end it here and I've got I've got a couple other sections I'll put up another time we've got some more 360 video to put up and anyway see you next time